Okay, this is um, custom piece number three for Carol. And um, the book is uh, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farms. Um, usually when I do custom work, I just send images of covers that I have available and then the you pick what you want. I try and sp send between six and 12 different covers and this is what she wanted. And she gave me a list of things that she liked, which are flowers and sewing material and stuff like that. So this one is for, for Carol. And um, I love this picture here of this woman standing by the tree. This is early 20th century, long dress right before the flappers came on the scene. And then we have all different kinds of vintage paper samples here. Journal spot, vintage card. <clears throat> Here's some more of that fan. As I said, I'm trying to use it up because it's really quite beautiful and it's intriguing and different. Try to create some variety, some delicate laces, which she said she loved. So I've included quite a bit of that in this one. An occasional bird or butterfly was part of her brief. So there's a couple of birds. And I've started to try and leave more blank spots just so that um, more writing can occur. Or you can add stuff to each of the pages in the first signature. This one that is, uh, well, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but. A little foreign text. This is a price tag from some old uh, lace I found, and I just thought I'd slap that in there and include that another orphan charm. Foreign text. This is cool. This was uh, around some rayon seam binding. It's actually metal, but it's really interesting. Burlington Mills. It's kind of fun. This I just took a page of vintage or text and I just wrapped it around and made little pockets on each side. She, oh, she also said she loved roses, so this is full of roses. <clears throat> Pattern piece, some buttons, lots of tags with sari ribbon, ribbon. This is um, examples of textile design from a book I have. She liked animals, so I thought this was kind of cute. Woman with her puppy dog. So, um, these are, you see this paper in the front and the back as end papers, and I just tried to include some on the interior to kind of tie it all together. Little design element there. Vintage cards, stamps, doilies, more stamps. Made this group of stamps into a pocket. I think these are actually roadies, but they look some like roses to me. That's from some vintage paper that I picked up at, that was from Frederick and Nelson's, which is no longer in business in Seattle, so. Again, I'm just doing a quick little flip through here because I'm not, I'm not feeling 100%. This book I was working on when I was <clears throat> really sick at the beginning of the week, but Carol's been waiting so patiently for it. I wanted to just really get it going through some wallpaper samples. And this is a clothing tag, which I liked. A new day, I just put a little, lined paper on the back. 
another photograph of women in long white dresses in the garden. Pattern pieces, an old seam binding packaging when it, when it used to be 25 cents for a package of seam binding. Here's some laces. Um, over the weekend before I really got hit bad, a friend of mine, her mother who lives in Idaho sent me a box of lace that she picked up at some going out of business sale, which was from uh, Barbizon. They used to make uh, slips and night dresses and lingerie and um, all of this lace was from the company. So, oh, and here's one of my collages that has the spine lace. This is the spine of a book and some paper. I'm sorry, lace. I'm sorry, I'm really not coherent right now. Um, at any rate, this is the first signature and this is a little bit of an anomaly because when I first started working in this book, I had it open and realized that it was upside down and I was actually starting to put things in the second signature as opposed to the first signature. So I had to quickly switch gears, but so I had started this, which is some smocking and buttons. So I left it because I didn't want to tear it apart. So Carol gets a little extra. This envelope is upside down. And then I had stapled this on, which is from an old magazine on about clothing and stuff. So a couple extra goodies for her in her second signature because I was pretty drugged up. So photograph and some pansies and here's another. This is from France, seed packet, vintage seed packet. So anyway, her second signature is not entirely blank. But it's done, and I'm pleased, and I hope that she is too. So there we go. Thank you.